Ladies and gentlemen, double uploads because I want to do something evil for once. First off, let's watch this clip of a Hearthstone tournament. This is, again, super bad news for for, uh, for Baiza here. As it looks like Kokosas is going to... Oh, he is going to use Shadow of Pain. Might as well. Again, it's all about keeping the board clear. And that's with a, a, a turn 9 hero power pass. Kokosas... Oh, wait, did he just wave by? He just waved goodbye to Baiza in this game. Well, he's not necessarily wrong about that. That's right. Somebody hand-waving a female player in the gaming industry is absolutely not acceptable. Why would you do such a horrendous thing? Why? Just, why would you do such a monstrous thing to a woman in esports? We have to treat them with royalty, you know? They're independent women who needs no man. That's why we should defend them when somebody waved their hands. <laughs> And next, we have a Kotaku article. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. A Kotaku article about a guy hand-waving a girl. <laughs> it might seem like an innocuous gesture, but the immediate aftermath of the match, the Hearthstone community erupted in controversy about Kokosasa's wave. Some players saw his irreverent behavior as an unsportmanlike conduct, while others thought it might discourage women like Baze from wanting to compete in future tournaments. Good! Good! If that's the one thing that discourages you from getting into tournaments, good! Leave! We don't need people who are so overly sensitive they got discouraged thanks to someone hand-waving at them! Wow! Pathetic! Are you really passionate into gaming? If you are, then this sort of thing wouldn't discourage you. You will still stay passionate and never give up. Watch some Dragon Ball for God's sake. Up your spirits and desires of being the best. Are you seriously going to give up after someone hand wave at you? That doesn't make you look like a champion. That makes you look like a pathetic baby. And I'm not directing this to the female esports player at all. I'm sure she's not offended. It's the article who uses the shield of female gamers who are discouraged by the rude gestures that the players are gonna give. It's like if you go into a military and complain that the drill sergeant is shouting at you. I... I really hate this cuddling mentality. You want to be cuddled when you're in a competition? Tough luck. You're not getting a cuddle. Get good. This isn't kindergarten anymore. Grow up. My message to anyone who is so triggered by microaggressions in this toxic, hyper-competitive environment that is esports, leave. Please leave. The gaming multiplayer scene is toxic. Esports is toxic. It's all because you're way too overly sensitive to handle such simple gestures. If you cannot handle hand waves and rude gestures, leave. Just leave. This isn't a welcoming environment for overly sensitive people. Good. I'd rather not subject them to emotional scars of having someone wave their hands at them. Not every environment should subject it to your standards of what is and isn't acceptable. So either leave and be a wuss, or overcome those barriers and be the best. Your choice. I know it's an evil suggestion, but I never said I'm a good person. Oh, speaking of evil suggestions, since you perceive esports as such a toxic environment, why don't you just take it to the logical conclusion and just do this? <laughs> 